Hi, I'm Sharon Lorisella, and my session today is on using a new ed tech tool called Moat. So I'm going to share my screen with you to explain um, a little bit more about this wonderful tool. I'm a professor in the Communication and Digital Media Studies program at Ontario Tech in Oshawa, Ontario, Canada. I'm also a worldwide Moat ambassador. So I, today I'm going to introduce you to Moat and discuss why you could use it. And you'll walk away knowing how to use it. It's that easy. Now, Moat is a new ed tech tool that allows you to make voice comments and then send them to your students. It works within the Google Suite and at Ontario Tech, the university subscribes to the Google Suite. So I really wanted to make use of our subscription to that and give students more of a reason to take advantage of that. So Moat helps you to record your voice in order to provide feedback to students in a different way rather than just exclusively through written or typed comments. And you can really use Moat with anything. It works in all of the Google um, suite, Google Slides, Docs, it works on PDFs, it works in Gmail, and you can even use it in your personal life if you really want to. So I want to mention why this tool is important to us in higher ed. Feedback to students is absolutely essential. And it's not just enough to click boxes on a rubric. If we want students to learn, we really have to explain how they did something right or how they did something not so right. And research on teaching and learning shows that when we provide students with a grade and with feedback at the same time, they focus almost entirely on the grade. They don't even really look at the feedback. So we have to address this and empower students to learn more deeply and to provide the opportunity to connect with them in different ways. So we can write comments on assignments, that's perfectly fine in typing or whatever, but if we capture our voices, it becomes even more powerful. And this is important in online courses, hybrid, face-to-face, -face, anywhere. And a bonus is that uh, speaking is very often faster for some people than typing. So this is what it looks like when a student gets a moat. It's, it's kind of like a little card that um, tells them that they got a voice note. And it's kind of like mail. It's, it's kind of fun. And this is, I took a screenshot to give you an example of what a moat looks like um, when a student gets it. So my students submit their work in Google Drive so that I can provide feedback through moat. And this is a PDF that a, a student submitted. And when I provide feedback, I'll very often type some comments and then toward the end, I'll offer a summative comment through moat and students can listen to it. But a great um, bonus of Moat is that we can transcribe our voice, voice notes. And this is really wonderful for accessibility. So the student can listen to the voice note, but can also read it as well. And you can edit the transcription also because we know that technology isn't always perfect. So this is another example of a PDF where I made a voice note for a student and the student just loved it. You can see here that um, they probably, <laughs> she said that she listened to the voice note multiple times. Um, so this really gave me and my students a, a really unique opportunity to connect using this technology. It just comes off as more sincere. And um, one of my students said, that when they read written comments from faculty, it's very often in a mean voice, but then when they can hear the comments, they realize the um, sincerity and the thoughtfulness that comes with these. So you're going to want to know how to do this. So when you open the internet, uh, make sure that you use Chrome to do this. Use Chrome as your browser and then go to justmote.me and uh, install Moat on your Chrome browser. Takes less than 30 seconds. It'll just download into your extensions on your Chrome browser. 
and then go into any document in your Google Drive. Could be a document, slides, sheets, a PDF, anything, even email. Highlight something that you can see here in the first, um, the first box. So open a comment. So highlight something and then create a comment. And then tap the little moat button that's in the corner here that I've circled. You tap that and then record your moat, just talk. And then um, when you're done, you press done and then press on comment and your comment is inserted into um, the document that you that you um, opened and wanted to make a comment in. So you can capture your voice anywhere on the on the internet to use the mode extension. And you can do this even by using your browser. You can just um, open your browser. You can open even to a web page, click on mode, record something and then capture it and then insert it somewhere else. A great feature of Moat is the Moat pad. So let's say you've got, I don't know, 60 students and you wanted to provide verbal feedback to them, but a lot of students made um, a similar mistake or a lot of students did something really wonderfully um, that was common amongst them all. So you can record a Moat to the Moat pad that says, oh, this was a great job on whatever section and then you can recycle that and use it over and over. So you don't have to record something new for every single document that you create. You can create a recording, put it to your moat pad, and then copy and paste it into a variety of documents so that you're not having to record the same thing over and over. It's kind of like a recycling feature that uh, moat has as well. So it, it's very helpful if you have large classes and you can um, record those moats and then insert them uh, in common situations. So if you want to transcribe, which is a wonderful um, tool, you finish the recording, you add the comment, and then you click on edit to transcribe the text. This is what I did here. I recorded myself saying this is a moat. I'll show you how to transcribe and then you just click on edit and then you can transcribe your comments. Now I had to edit this one a little bit because the voice comments made this say this is emote. So I just edited that and then put it in. So you can change your um, punctuation. You can take out certain things to um, make the written comments more streamlined. But you can, the key here is that you can transcribe the voice for accessibility purposes, which is very helpful, and then add um, the transcription, edit it, and then paste it right in there. So um, I'm at Ontario Tech University. Please feel free to contact me. I'm on Twitter at Academic Bad Girl. And um, I would love to help anyone with their moat experiences. So um, please be in touch.